Hello, hello. My name is Samantha Smith. I am 23-year-old graduate of Azusa Pacific University. I have a bachelor's in psychology. Um, I am looking to get my public relations master's degree. Um, I am currently a waitress at Downtown Disney, and uh, hopefully after I get this degree and hopefully get an internship, I can get a real job, a big girl job, which is what I'm working towards right now. Where I want to be and the journey for developing mastery in my field. Um, honestly, to plain and simple, I want to work for Disney. That's where I belong. That's where I want to be. Um, I completely believe in everything this company does. I love this company more than anything. Um, working for the Disney store, retail, obviously isn't that great, but I loved every minute of it. I love being there. If I could have stayed there for the rest of my life and worked my way up, I probably would have, but it, plans didn't work out. So now I'm using this degree to hopefully move on and find new ways to get back into the Disney company because I want to make a difference in kids' lives. Uh, maybe not one-on-one, -on -one, but in a company that's constantly doing that every day. That's what they stand for. That's what they want to do. Uh, everyone feels that connection, and that's something that I'm really looking forward to and where my mastery is. That is where I belong. <sighs> okay. In our reading, we had to look at the strategies for finding life's tasks. There was the primal inclination strategy, the Darwinian strategy, the rebellion strategy, the adaption strategy, or the life or death strategy. All of these were um, a different strategy on finding our master or what we're meant to do. Um, the first one, the primal inclination strategy, had a quote, In order to master a field, you must love the subject and feel profound connection to it. How can you work on something or feel fully committed to something and want to do it every day and wake up if you don't feel that connection? Um, that's one thing I can really connect to in my own life. Um, the next one, there was a quote for the Mozart's, the one for Mozart with the rebellion strategy where he talked about, because the field we choose does not correspond with our deepest inclinations, we rarely find the fulfillment that we crave. Our work suffers for this, and the attention we may have gotten in the beginning starts to fade, a painful process. Um, this was very evident in Mozart's life. He chose to go down the more financially secure road, which I feel a lot of people tend to do, um, just because it's safe. It's very safe, and they have to... Getting away from that is why it's called the rebellion strategy, I think, because it's so hard. It's hard to rebel um, in that way, and it's completely going against the norm of what everyone else is doing. The final one was from the Rourke, uh, the Roach one, the, uh, the Mickey Roach one, the adaption strategy. So basically he couldn't do what he loved anymore. So he needed to adapt to a new one. So often a creative re readjustment leads to a superior path for us. We are shaken out of our complacency. Um, so we need something to like wake us up basically and make us jump out of our skin a little bit of what we want to do, which is something I connected to in this one. Um, I think for the first quote, the in order to master a field, you must love the subject and feel profound connection to it is something I can really relate to because with me, um, I love what I want to do. I love the company I want to work for. I feel at home with them and I feel like that is where I'm meant to be. So that's something I can really connect with in my own life. Dream career. I want to work for Disney, obviously, but also, I'd like to use this PR degree to possibly go into event planning there. Um, I was really big with that at the Disney store, and that's one thing I feel really at home with. Um, two personal goals I'd like to achieve in the next three weeks. I need to get my resume out this week to internships. I know how selective they are, and that need, I need to jump on that. Secondly, I'd like to start a blog of some kind, hopefully to help work on my writing skills, because I know that's something I really, really want to work on. So, yeah.